Thank you so much for calling in. Please let me know your name and where you're calling in from. Uh, Desky, Desky, can you hear me? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, doing all right. Uh, my name's Robbie Mendoza. I'm from Tri-Cities, Washington, from uh, um, Pasco, Kennewick, Richland. That's where Vlad's from. And funny enough, you brought me to uh, Hungry Generation. When you really? Had Everett and, you know, yeah, no kidding. I think I saw... No, I, I don't think. I know. I saw you at the Tent Revival. It was pretty sweet. Awesome, bro. Well, listen, I mean, you've been bye. waiting an hour and 40 minutes on hold. Thank you for calling. I feel bad that you had to wait this long, but I'm glad that we got to talk. What's going on tonight? Uh, so I uh, just need some spiritual advice. So, I mean, um, this happened a couple years back. I'm add me to the list of people that got saved in 2020. But I, um, I, I purchased a duplex, right? I was about 23, 24 years old, right? Um, a pretty decent job, this and that. And uh, my realtor didn't tell me. I mean, I don't. Even, I don't think she knew. I should have done my own homework, including the Holy Spirit in my purchase. But uh, my life changed forever when I um, purchased it, and it was built in the '40s. And in that time, or somewhere around that time, I think uh, the '70s, '80s, witchcraft was really popular in this area. Is what I'm hearing from the neighbors. Some of them uh, were a part of that. And with that being said, um, yeah, I was. Uh, you know, I didn't turn into a cocaine addict until I moved in the house. As much as I want to use that as an excuse, I was just drinking every day while working for the government, right? I was a accountant. Oh, man. And, yeah, it was it was rough. It was rough. And I couldn't stop. And um, I also was in an intimate relationship with somebody that was into, uh, into um, what is it? You guys mentioned it on the New Age stuff. The, um, the third eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Altar in the house. All, yeah, all that all that stuff and astral projection and uh since then um yeah i mean kind of the same way the devil brought jesus to the cross is the same way he brought me to jesus mm. that's why i can say it yeah so um i guess am i able to manifest those kind of things when i uh because i i met this person first and then the house purchase happened months later i mean is it kind of like a evil domino effect in that way is that kind of how that works I've seen a as, few of your uh, channels on this subject. So as far as what are you are you are you asking like was it because of the house? Was it because of the relationship? Are you trying to figure out like why you got involved and what you got involved with? Yeah, exactly. Why why did it change for the worst? And you know why did things negate after that? Kind of a weird sequential order, but it all it all happened in 2019, 2020, 21. I mean, it could have been the yeah. house for sure. Demons can for sure dwell in houses. Um, where things were done that were evil or whatever you could call it. That's 100% a real thing. But it sounds like, I mean, if you were with uh, this girl, it sounds like you probably got some of her demons, you know? A lot of times we say like people have, we kind of, we don't joke about it, but they have like STDs, like sexually transmitted demons. But it is a real thing yeah. when you get involved with somebody to that level, like that is a very, and I'm trying to use very careful words here because I know I have a lot of children that watch, mm. but when you get into those things, it's very spiritual. Mm -hmm. Like, let's just say that everything you do with someone is very spiritual. That's how soul ties get created. That's why when people say I was never like this and then I got with this person and then now I'm just like this person or this happened. Well, you created a soul tie and a part of them and a part of you came together. And the Bible talks about like joining yourself two flesh become one. It doesn't mean just when you're married and you're doing that when you're married, when you do that act, the two become one and there's a connecting in the spirit realm. It's a very spiritual act. The Bible literally says it's not merely physical, but it's also spiritual. And I have that in some of my videos as well about like soul ties and all that. I talk about how to know if you have a soul tie, blah, blah, blah. So it sounds like it could have been a mix mm -hmm. of both, but al but also that house could have been cursed. You know, it could have been haunted and I put air quotes and that sounds like a very fake thing, but it's a real thing. Houses are haunted by mm -hmm. demonic spirits because you don't know what happened before. I hear people all the time say this. I was never like this until I moved here or I never dealt with fear. I never felt with anxiety. I never dealt with these issues until I moved in this house. And now I'm hearing things and voices and knocking and things falling over. And like, you got to go in that house and go into every room and say, I command every evil spirit leave this house in Jesus name. You have no power. I cancel your assignments. I take your authority this is not your home you must leave because demons do dwell just like in normal in human bodies matthew 12 jesus says we are spiritual mm -hmm. houses they dwell also in physical houses a demon will dwell anywhere that evil is present so 
yeah for sure it's a real thing i have a video on like casting demons out of houses and cleansing your house and all of that because it is a, it is a very mm -hmm. real thing and um you got to command and take authority over those so i don't know fully where that came into your life it sounds very spiritual though could have been the girl could have been the house uh, i would just look mm -hmm. to the point of where you started going down that path and seeing what was there and praise the lord god's delivered you from that and brought you out of that because yeah when Amen. you get involved in those spiritual things and you start tampering in the new age or you get involved with people that are into like reiki and yoga and new age and tarot cards it's, it gets very dark because what you don't realize is when you open the door to spirits i say this all the time you don't get to tell what spirit comes in like you don't get to say well i'm only going to open the door to lust or anger like no you get a myriad of spirits coming in and doing stuff to you so yeah man i'm glad that you've mm -hmm. gotten deliverance and you got out of that yeah definitely it was probably one of the darkest times of my life but i mean good came out of it right i'm able to uh share share the gospel i have my own little um my own little ministry it's anonymous and so nobody knows it's me it's pretty sweet just a way to spread real spread the uh spread the gospel that way it's pretty sweet that and, is so um, awesome yeah, and then I have um, I have uh, who inspired it you as well as Vlad and Pastor Ivan, Pastor Ivan with Hunger Generation. I'm in his life group, and yeah, we, I reference your videos all the time, and you know we discuss them. It's pretty sweet. It's a good time. That is it's, awesome, man. You're really knowledgeable, and yeah, to spread your expertise our direction. I mean, we're so grateful for you. Thank you, man. Well, listen, Seriously. I'm going to be in Washington next year um, at a very large venue. It's going to be an amazing time. And so we'll, we'll announce it when it comes closer, but I'll definitely hopefully see you there. It'll be about an hour away from you. So I would love to see you there next year. And I, I'm sure I'll be there Where sooner at Pastor Vlad's church. Yeah, yeah, I'll be in Yakima next year again. Okay, cool. We were excited to have you like in the area. I thought you were yeah, coming man. to Hungry Gen, but it, it must have been a tent revival. I was, uh, I, I, no, I was, suppo I was supposed to be at Hungry Gen, but I, I had to I had to um, kind of cancel it before because I had stuff going here for Father's Day with my kids. But I'm definitely going to be at oh. Hungry Gen soon, so I'm sure I'll see you when I go there. Yeah, I would love to meet you in person, definitely. Well, hey, thanks, Isaiah. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks for waiting on hold, man, and calling in. I really appreciate you. Yeah, I hope, I hope to meet you soon. See you, Isaiah. All right, God bless you, man. Take care. Wow, we got through every caller. Can we get some amens in the chat? We got through every caller. I feel good because I didn't I didn't cut anyone off. We got through every single caller. The first one back, and we went two hours. This is the longest call-in we've ever done. Two hours. You guys got it there. Um, that was great. I think it was great. Let me know what you guys think.